try that. Okay, see so if that works. Which was going to be good. All right, try this. <laughs> okay, that's an interesting look. <laughs> okay, late night Facebook Live. Welcome. Thanks for joining me for a late night one. It's now on 11 p.m. Long day. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I usually do these around 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, but tonight, because I've got so much stuff going on today, and I'll tell you about that in a moment, I haven't had time till now. So, 11 p.m. I'm still awake. Um, welcome to my broadcast. In case you haven't seen me before, my name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Let me try this without this. Helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. Yeah, that works without. Kind of yellowy, but it'll do the job. And I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine. Yeah, it's very yellow. Hmm. Celebi. This is not my normal skin color. <laughs> so thanks for watching and being with me. Um, I do these talks every day called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's the number 323. <sighs> wow. Um, and today's topic is actually a combination of two things that I was reading about today that really pushed my buttons, pissed me off, upset me, got me concerned. And so I want to talk about those. And if you're a woman watching this, I feel for you because these two are about where women aren't getting their... Um, respect and men listen up because it's going to be really aimed at some of the men the two topics that I put together in one title is one was about Coachella I read an article about how some 90 plus percent of women who attend Coachella are groped whilst they're there 90 plus percent that's insane and it's also ridiculously upsetting because how do men not you know anyway get to that in a minute second one is about reading an article how some of these um, accused or some of these accused sexual um, harassers are planning their comebacks, like they've done their penance and they can come back. And I'm going to speak to that one first because that really pisses me off. Um, for those who know me, you know that I stand strongly for women, particularly women being respected, being in their hearts and being honoured. And this thing that I read about, this article I read about these men who basically are thinking that they've done their penance and can come back now. And my immediate thought was, what about the women you harassed? Do they get a second chance? Have they gotten respected now? Do they get anything out of this? They're the ones that have suffered from your abuse and your, your um, <sighs> mentally deficient behavior. I'm being polite. I was going to say a lot worse than that, but that comes out well enough. And yet, you're planning your return to... Um, come back into the world as if nothing had happened. Like, you're going to come back and... Because some, some of these actors, some of these performers who have been accused of sexual harassing, are like, how do they get back to being successful again, being noticed again? And apparently some of their employees want them back. Like, pretend nothing happened. You've done three months off. You've taken three months to hang out in your mansion and not, be, not work. And now you want to come back to work because you've done your penance? Some women's lives have been ruined by what you did. That does not work in my book. So I don't have an answer for this. But I do want to vent on it. So I'm speaking about that. And the second part, again, about this thing at Coachella, that... 90 plus percent of women who attend Coachella are sexually harassed. They're groped, they're, they're fondled, they're touched without respect or without request, without being asked. And I'm thinking, well, first of all, I'm thinking very clearly, the men who attend have no fucking clue how to respect women, to be blunt, sorry. Now, of course, it may be less than 90 percent of the men doing it. I'm going to say 90 percent of the women, but it might be, you know, 100 men doing all this, running around groping all the women. But I wish, what it feels like I almost wanted, wanted to do is, and that's what I do want to do, is demand of the men in the world who are listening to this, who understand this, who are on the same page as I am, who are concerned and caring about respecting women, that when you see something like that happen, you do something about it. And I mean this simply. If you, if you, especially if you're with guys who are on the same page as you are. I mean, frankly, I'd love to see this happen. And this is not particularly spiritual, <laughs> but it feels righteous. Which is if you and some of your friends are walking around and you see a guy go up and harass a woman. I was going to say beat the living crap out of him. Maybe not that extreme, but certainly give him a wake-up call. Invite him to make a different choice. Whether you do that through confrontation, through counselling, through direct um, ins instigation of something because the thing is there are more men waking up now and more than ever and it's our role our job when we see something like that where a man is harassing a woman to say something do something respond not just to let it happen 
and it's 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 triggering me. So I'm talking about this. So this is one of my this is this is what's up for me right now. So both of these things about these <sighs> accused harassers who somehow have got forgiveness now without doing anything to cure what they did, uh, wanting to go back to work again, while the women who they harassed and abused haven't had a chance. That is absolutely wrong in my book. I mean, if I was president, no. <laughs> in my book, that should not be the case. They've lost their role because of what they did. They might get some other work, but they'll never get back what they started. They can't go back to what they did before because they've crossed that line too much. And that doesn't, it's not kosher. So that's one thing. And secondly, again, any man who harasses a woman at Coachella, at other festivals, or anywhere, just because you're a festival, you don't have any right, any role, any um, permission to touch in any way, shape, or form a woman without, request, without asking first, without even, frankly, getting her attention, looking in her eyes and saying, I like you or something. It's the coward's way out. It's, it's, it's messed up. So that, that's my rant. So this is, not, this is not a constructive talk. It's more of a rant. So if you're watching this in the replay... I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> feel free to watch. Feel, feel free to um, to post comments below. This is a quick one because it is late at night. I'm I'm exhausted anyway, which may be why I'm not doing any teaching tonight. Um, and by the way, just I'm at a hotel, which is why one of the backgrounds different than usual. And why it's so late? I'm actually at the Conscious Business Gathering. I'm supporting my friends Brian and Nicole Wetton doing their weekend event down here at the LAX Hilton, um, which is where I'm staying because it's a good hotel this weekend. And um, yeah. I'm exhausted, so I'm just going to sign off. I just want a quick broadcast just to get some of this venting out on camera. So hopefully you'll get some thoughts about this. And if you have ideas and thoughts about this too, please put them below. Please write stuff below. Um, I'm not going to promote my stuff. If you want to find out more about work, go to my website, which is barryselby.com. You can find all my stuff there. Um, and this this is maybe a different talk. I maybe have more to go talk about this tomorrow. But right now this is why I wanted to vent, get it out there and say, this should change. And... Um, That'll do. So, um, repeat, off, repeat offender as well. Oh, well, yeah, absolutely, yes, yes, Danny. Um, but I'm talking mainly about the celebrity ones. They've got away with it because they've basically been kicked out of their job, or just say they've been fired from their job, and they get to stay in their mansion with all their money, and probably some of them still getting paid. Whereas the women who were who were harassed got nothing except harassed. And I don't see there's any balance in that. That's not justice on any way, shape, or form. So no, it's not called for and repeat offenders as well. Absolutely, most of these accused harassers were repeat offenders. They harassed more than one, more than ten, more than twenty women. Um, and I guess it's true the other way too. So I'm talking about the Me Too stuff. This has kind of been bugging me um, since I saw these articles today. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm signing off. I appreciate your feedback and your comments. I'll respond to them later on when I get a chance to get my breath back. So thanks for watching. I'll be back together tomorrow with another topic that should ideally be more teaching, constructive, and helpful. That'll be number 324. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.